Welcome to our Tuesday's Technology Tip. We have Summer Parsons, a third grade teacher from O.P. Earl Elementary, here to share with us today. Hi, today I would like to share a fun and creative way to utilize Google Slides in the classroom. The tech tip I will be sharing can be used across all content areas and all grade levels. I will be showing you a simple way to use Google Slides to create an animation. These animations mimic that of a flipbook animation that is made in the corner of notebooks. So today, you will learn the steps to creating a stop motion animation with slides. You will learn how students can present their creations, how they can be utilized in the classroom, and I will show you some of my creations and some student creations as well. I have created a template of a 10 blank slides that I make a copy of each time I want to create a slide. So the first one that I'm showing you is my very first try at the stop animation. Right here I have the screen that has the sun, cloud, and my name. So when I press enter, it will take me to the link again and it starts from the beginning to end. I'm going to pause right there and show you from my drive exactly what it looks like from my end. Now remember, there are different ways that you can use the animations. You can use a variety of shapes, lines, graphics, icons to create your animation. You can even change the color of your slides to show time lapse. You can duplicate slides and move your objects slightly, again mimicking that flip corner book. Okay, so I'm going to show you one that's really simple. and it's just a circle. And I started with, again, a blank template of 10 slides. And since this one was so short, this is maybe one that you would want to start out very slow with your students and have the creation move just slightly every slide, creating that stop motion animation. Okay, and here we go. So as you see here in my sidebar navigation, I have a red ball that just moves ever so slightly, and I wanted it to make it look like it is moving and bouncing. So this again was a very short graphic just to show kids the tutorial of how to make the animation. Once that you have picked out your shapes, Again, remember in my first one, my very first try, I used the sun cloud. I changed the background as a time lapse and I put my name. This one, I put the ball. And then after you find your shapes and you've finished your animation, you can go to File, Publish to Web, and a, a, a window pops up. Now, here is literally the only difficult place that you will have. You have to change the auto advance to every second. You have to check mark start slideshow as soon as the player loads and also check restart the slideshow after the last slide. From here, you copy your link and paste it into your new web browser. Now, please pay attention to my URL that I have here. The last number you see is 1000. You have to take out the zero and press enter. This ensures the transition moves very a more sm smooth transition. So you'll press enter and your little, my little bouncy ball is bouncing. Again, this was the very bare minimum animation and a great tutorial to start your children or high school kids with stop animation with Google Slides. Now I'm going to go to a student example. We have been working on habitats. So as an ending project, they were to show me characteristics of their habitats without using words. Again, you can use shapes and words in the stop motion animation. Now, as you see, they use the time lapse here and shows it going from day to night. And this is the desert. And it shows that they know what they're talking about because animals 
become more active at night and you'll see the little animal pop up when it becomes nighttime. You will see a cactus and you see that there's sand and sun. So this student obviously researched her habitat and her learning has been shown in a creative way without even using any words. So I have created one today just to show you guys and unfortunately I'm no longer in the Boston Tea Party and American Revolution um, unit but I created this just for you and it took me about 20 seconds so I'm going to refresh this so it starts from the beginning. Okay, This is the longest one that I've done. And as you can see, it starts with the date here. And then I built suspense by adding the same slide for a pause. I duplicated the slide and then I just played around almost like coding. You can publish it and, and copy it into your browser and just view it. And if you want to add any slides or take away slides, um, you can go, always go back and edit your Google slide presentation. But what I enjoyed about this one is that you get to use your creativity. You can see the tea crates being thrown from the ship. You can see the colonist changing from a colonist to a Native American, which is all a part of the Boston Tea Party story. And again, students can show their learning by just using a few shapes uh, usually an image or um, text. I use text this time and it took me about tw 20 minutes to create this slideshow. Um, for implementing this new tip in the classroom, some ways that you can express content with students, you can have students present their anim animations to each other or they can screencastify their story as it is playing. So that means they can narrate their creation and share it with others. Some ideas that have had since discovering this tool, you can use it history. A student can retell an important historical event like this one with the Boston Tea Party. You can have students show a math problem and show their thought process through the slow animation. You can even use science and show a process within an experiment. Even in PE, you can show an activity targeting a certain muscle. When you really think about it, there are several ways that you can use this and endless possibilities. My students see this recently to express a habitat, and you saw that as in science. And the animations usually take us between 20 and 30 minutes, and so I let them work on it a little bit every day. Um, for a week. And again, this is third grade. So um, it, they have gotten a lot faster with time. Um, the only thing that takes out time is um, just giving them the template of the 10 slides to begin with, with blank, no text boxes, and then they can input their graphics and shapes. So that is my tech tip for today, and I hope that you can use it. And if you would like for me to send you the template, um, I will be glad to do so. Thank you for sharing with us, Summer. This uh, slow motion animation seems very fun and engaging. Remember, if you have any ideas for a tech tip, any recommendations, please just send me an email and I will be glad to address those. Or if you would be willing to share a tip, just send me an email. Have a great week.